in liftoff. Liftoff as Chris Cassidy, Pavel Vinogradov, and Alexander Mazurkin are on a fast track to the International Space Station. Blast off from Baikonur with a new record in its sights. The Soyuz rocket was aiming to make the normally 48-hour journey to the ISS in just six hours. As it disappeared from view, the three men on board kept in regular contact with ground control. Everything's completely nominal up here on the spacecraft and we feel great. Pressing on. Copy. And this was their target, the space station itself. Until now, all spacecraft that have gone to it have taken around two days or 34 orbits of the Earth to get there. But new Russian rendezvous techniques mean Soyuz can do it much sooner, with just four orbits. The docking itself took place above South America. The procedure so smooth that on the ISS, the Canadian astronaut Chris Hatfield tweeted how cool it was to hear the thump as the two vessels glided together. With Soyuz and the ISS joined together, their respective crews were happy to have got such a potentially problematic maneuver out of the way. For their families watching down on the ground, the feeling was pride and relief. For the crew of the Soyuz, their attention now turns to their mission on board the International Space Station, but already they've made a little bit of history. Anunathan Al Jazeera.